Right, hi everybody, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be going through the different syllabuses. So, the aim is I'm going to explain everything that is in your syllabus for your grade. I will run through what you need to do for whatever ages, whatever groups, whatever classes you are in. And then I will tell you what needs to be done for your individual grades. Then you'll see me performing moves from your syllabus that you can then obviously copy and match up with your syllabuses. There'll be a couple of little differences to what are on your syllabus, so I'll explain them through as a couple of updates, but nothing major, nothing that you won't know, just maybe a different way of doing a few different things. Right, so I'm going to explain what is on the syllabus sheets now. So anything I leave off the syllabus sheets, we will not be now practicing in the syllabus unless I explain otherwise. So if there's a couple of little things on there you think, hang on, he didn't read that out, that is because we're not going to be using that these days in the syllabus. So I have made that as a modification. Also, you might find I clarify a few things or go over a couple of bits and pieces where I might change slightly how they're done. So on the syllabus sheet now, as you're going through it, look at what I'm saying. Obviously, if I leave something out, look at it and think, right, obviously he's taken that out of the syllabus or we're not practicing that these days in the syllabus. If you're not sure on anything, just feel free to message me or to uh, give us a call and we can run through it with you. So 15 press-ups, 15 sit-ups, Fifteen squat thrusts. So the kicking techniques on both legs are a front slap kick. A side kick. So side piercing kick ideally, punching the hand out, coming off the rear leg. Side turning kick. And a turning kick. The hand combinations are a lead punch, so a jab, a rear punch, which is a cross, a lead back fist, a ridge hand, and a spinning back fist. This will also be shown in a combination of jab, cross, back fist, ridge hand, spinning back fist. You'll be asked to do 10 sitting stance double punches. The pattern at yellow tag is Chon G. You'll also be asked to show your previous patterns at this grade. So your walking techniques will be performed in an L stance, so you'll be showing your middle section in a forearm block, going forward and back, usually performed four times forward, four times back, but you might get asked to do more. So the set sparring is three step sparring, one to three blocks. So if you're 12 and under, you do it on the spot, the attacks and the defences. You do not do this with a partner. If you're 13 and above, you do this with a partner. Gradient theory now at uh, yellow tag. The first thing you need to know is your cup. So yellow tag is ninth cup, which is nine belts away from black belt. The next thing you need to know is the meaning of chon G. If you're 12 and under, you just need to know chon G means literally the heaven and the earth. 
If you are older, so if you're 13 and above, you have to know the second half. You also need to know the meaning of yellow because that's the colour of the belt you are going towards. So yellow signifies the earth from which a plant sprouts and takes root as Taekwondo foundation is being laid.